Hey everyone, Official Guy Reviews back with you one more time. We got the new microphone here. I'm just going to do a short and sweet one for you today. Basically, I want to tackle a second portion of the uh, the MX Keys review for the Logitech uh, keyboard that I picked up. Uh, you would have seen my review done up, uh, you know, I think, what, a couple weeks ago or a week ago or whatever now. Um, and I wanted to answer a couple of you guys' questions. You've asked a few questions, and I always appreciate the comments, as you know. Um, so we're going to pop up the video comments here, and I'm going to go over a couple quick answers for a few things for you. A couple things I tried out. I did do a bunch of gaming for that stutter effect um, with the Logitech Direct Connection through the USB that they provide. Um, and I have an update on that for you as well. So basically to start out, I do want to say um, for Ibrahim Khan, thank you for stopping by. I appreciate it, buddy. Thank you. I got your comment there. You were talking about your Razer keyboard. You're having issues uh, sprinting and editing at the same time. Um, if you're doing your edit through your keyboard as well as while you're sprinting, um, I did a little ding for you. I don't have a ton of experience with this best I can probably get for you is that there's an issue with more than multiple key presses on your keyboard. Um, if you Google it, it's called the rollover effect. Um, sometimes gaming keyboards and whatnot will actually tell you about uh, how many rollover keys they function with. Once you pass two to three, you're getting into kind of a specialty zone. So if you're holding down uh, three or more keys at once, sometimes you'll have keys that will allow um, more than that to be pushed even on your keyboard even if it's not working that way but uh, a lot of times it's more in conjunction with shift or control or alt um, obviously as you know any computer even if it only functions holding two keys at once you can still do control alt delete um, so it gets a little confused where this key ghosting effect this anti-ghosting effect uh, that you'll read about uh, comes into play where when three keys are pressed it actually sees a ghosted fourth key sometimes that's pressed just the way that the circuitry is laid out because each one uh, I guess is not um, its own single button right so each one used to have its own wiring now they're kind of in channels um, so if you look for a keyboard with higher rollover numbers the better that means more multiple key presses will function at once so um, something to look into for you I don't know if that'll help I don't know if it's a great answer for you the other option maybe is if you have extra mouse keys on your mouse it might be worth rebinding I know that can be a huge pain for your building or whatever maybe that'll help out a little bit but that's the best I can offer you I hope that helps a little bit again thank you for stopping by the channel um, getting to the questions themselves we actually had kind of a two-in-one question here uh, we had um, our boy Suhaib Suhib, I'm trying to pronounce that. I'm so sorry if I messed it up. Um, and the Moose, Moose on the Loose, that's a good uh, Canadian sounding name. <laughs> the Moose. Um, so you guys both were kind of asking, uh, Suhaib first was asking basically uh, if it's in uh, the USB dongle mode, um, will that help with the stutter effect? So I hadn't tested that before. I was running it strictly off Bluetooth previously. Um, this time I went through and tested it um, doing full gaming. Um, playing, I played World of Warcraft and uh, some Overwatch, just doing full WASD before I had noted, if you hadn't seen the previous video for anybody else watching, that basically I would have the odd stutter effect where as I'm holding W to run or strafe, um, with uh, with the Q and E key, uh, I would have like almost like a micro disconnect from the Bluetooth, and then that would cause an issue where I I stop running for a second, and it's 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 very minor. But at the end of the day, if that's constantly happening in a game, you're probably just going to use a different keyboard, and that's what I ended up doing for a while. I went back to the Red Dragon whenever I would um, be gaming. That being said, I did swap, tried it you guys way with the the dongle itself. So the as you know or you may have seen. Logitech gives you a nice little USB dongle. It's very flush, very small, which is great um, for uh, the idea that if your computer doesn't have Bluetooth or whatever, uh, it can help out with that effect. That being said, I completely disconnected it from Bluetooth, clicked forget device on my computer, and then just went with the dongle. The dongle set up uh, super clean. You pop it open. It gives you an idea right here in the box. Figured I'd have this handy so you guys can see. So there you go so basically the different ways you can connect it to your computer so previously we had went like the bluetooth route now i've gone obviously the dongle route and then you connect back up to your computer there right so um i went that route the nice thing is i, I dug into it a little bit more as well for multi-pairing um so i mentioned this in my previous video but basically you have these keys right here that let you pair multiple devices uh via if you are using the bluetooth portion um 
it's kind of nice. The dongle itself without Bluetooth will let you, I think it's up to six, five or six devices from Logitech you can function with. Uh, but this guy here, I did fully pair it to my phone now via Bluetooth. I was using the dongle for the first setting for my computer, and then I did Bluetooth for the second. It's literally as easy as you hit it and it switches over. Um, as you guys know, in previous videos, you would have seen it. I have a Note 10 Plus. I did find seamless connection, good to go, found it right away, no problem at all if you just follow along pretty straightforward directions there. Um, seamless switching between, I did find though, if I open text messages, the keyboard opened, and then like the digital keyboard on screen keyboard on my phone, when I start typing, um, it was working really flawlessly. I wanted to type about a paragraph so I just could get a feel for it. Super clean, instant response time, but then the phone started lagging a little bit um and then it it i had to i closed out texting reopened it it was still lagging to the point where i would do a keystroke and it was maybe three to five seconds and i'm sure that's just something my phone is messing up with but obviously i know i don't have an ancient phone and usually android's pretty clean with everything uh so not the best experience for the mobile typing but again that might be more my device uh, i do use the default messages um with my android i don't know uh Anyways, neither here nor there. It functioned well as far as connecting and switching over, but it was a little frustrating. Um, so to answer your question, the stutter effect was fixed. It was fixed. Thumbs up on that. So it was fixed. You guys nailed it. Um, I did have it plugged direct via the USB, but like the USB cable. Um, but obviously to pair, you do Bluetooth or the dongle. So I had it with the dongle just to, to see if while it was charging, it did better than while it was not charging. Both functions the same, no stutter effect anymore if you use the Logitech dongle, at least in my experience. Again, it could be my Bluetooth card. I don't know. My computer's, you know, reasonably dated, you know, like five, six years old now. Uh, I haven't had any issues with any other Bluetooth, whether I'm using headsets and whatnot, but who knows? The connection may just not be super strong. I will say, though, like my computer is like I, I'm touching my computer right now. It's really close. My computer is super close to me, so I can't see it being a distance issue or maybe the signal through the desk or anything. I think it just, you know, isn't 100 percent, 100 percent connection. And you see that sometimes with devices on Bluetooth as it is. So, yes, fixed. Absolutely. So the moose, Suhaib. We're good to go. You're good to go with the dongle, multiple connections. I did dig a little more into it, and I feel like one thing that I wanted to make sure I brought up because I feel like it was such a handy function that I didn't do a lot of digging on. Obviously, the other one, if you start digging into the MX keys and the MX line for Logitech is the, the MX Master, and Master 3. There's a few different ones. Um, very well-reviewed mouse, obviously quite expensive, but if you're looking for a high-end mouse, it's a solid option. The Logitech Flow system from everything I've seen is so clean, so fast, and so smooth. You can pair multiple devices with your dongle. Then right through Logitech software, which is very clean, very simple, um, you can actually connect the devices together. The MX keys does function for this. Um, to If you had the mouse as well, if you did the full set, uh, you can actually share your flow space between PCs Mac, it works for Mac too. It works PC to Mac and vice versa. And what you can actually do is you basically connect the two together. You inc include them into your flow state. If you've managed your layout of your um, tiles, if you have multiple monitors on your computer, like the personalization, you have the one monitor and you can drag them and snap them around each other so the computer knows where they're located. It's exactly the same process through the Logitech Flow app. Um, it's just your regular same Logitech app that you would use for your normal functionality. And then you just move through and you have this flow state, which is so clean. Basically, what you can do, you can just do it seamlessly. It'll know based on how you've laid things out. If you have your laptop to the side, you'd snap it and say it's to the side so it knows. As you slide your mouse off the screen uh, to that side, like whatever side you're saying your other computer is on, this, the, the device itself will actually just snap over to your other PC or Mac or whatever. So if you have your work laptop and you're back at home, you can then highlight copy and click like right click click copy or control c or command c or whatever uh and you can actually snap your mouse back over and your keyboard will follow and control v or right click and paste and it'll actually move files for you multiple files large files it'll still take some time obviously it's larger files pictures are almost instant and they just snap right over and that goes pc to mac mac to pc pc to pc mac to mac you name it 
it's so clean. It's so quick. It's so smooth. You just install the thing on both uh, of your com computers and you have this flow state created. It's unbelievable. So it's just something as I was, you know, doing more digging, obviously it didn't come up a ton when I was reading reviews and stuff on this thing. And it's something that just is such a value add if you're somebody who's dragging a laptop or a mac around for your work and then you come home and you set up at home and you just boom boom i know obviously you have airdrop and everything else if you're using mac but it's nice to have that cohesive pc mac combination because a lot of people use a mac laptop and then they come home to a pc it's so clean you literally snip snap you're done copy paste between your screens as you slide off of the screen, if you're somebody who's always near the edge of your screen, you can set a hotkey like hold control while you come to the edge of the screen and then it'll snap over. That way, if you're near your edge as it is, you're not going to constantly be accidentally jumping onto the other PC. And as it goes over, the, the cursor will get bigger so you know and you can see it over on your other thing. So that wasn't a question. It was just something I came across in my adventures here. And it's something I don't, I'm not running two PCs right now. I do have a work laptop, but I don't need to transfer files between the two, but oh my goodness, so clean and so easy. I may, honestly, I'm just using a, a Razer mouse that I've had. It's been great for me for quite a while, but I might have to consider the MX Master uh, as one of my new options, just because this flow state sounds so simple and so easy. So something to look into if you are doing some research on these keyboards, the, the MX series, there's a bunch Bunch of their other ones that are compatible as well and the mouse as well so take a look at it uh it's super cool super clean uh snap over logitech flow that's the name of it so i hope you guys uh, appreciate uh, the update so i know it's not like a full review or anything but just a couple quick notes couple tips and tricks uh and a couple uh, viewer questions answered honestly guys i appreciate you stopping by i'm hoping the new mic is doing solid i'm still trying to figure out the returns and the gains but uh i really do appreciate you taking the time and thanks so much for being here take care